A drawing layout is a view of all or part of a drawing, with the option to include additional items specific to the layout. The display of the layout explorer is controlled with this option here. To explain this further, let's use the example drawing we have already opened. This is an A0 size sheet at a 1 to 50 scale containing a plan and four elevation views of a building. The rectangle around the outside is a drafted sheet border. It's easy to see that the entire drawing would need to be printed, however it might also be the case that each floor plan and each elevation would require to be on its own printed sheet with information specific to that sheet. Layouts can help us achieve this, so let's create one. The first thing to do is to select the items that we want to appear in the layout and then click on the Create Layout button. So you can see that as there are no other layouts in the drawing, it's automatically named Layout 1 and then displayed. If we click here on the drawing icon you see the whole drawing view is shown again. So we now have a layout displaying the plan views. Let's create another. This time we will just select the ground floor plan and you will see that layout 2 has been added. Obviously it would be better if these had meaningful names. So to rename a layout just select it then click on it again and type in the new name. Let's rename the second one as well. And let's create the first floor layout. And rename it like so. If you do want to create a layout of the whole drawing, you can just click on the button without selecting anything first. In this case, we don't. Now layout 4 is empty and that's not what we want so we can delete it with this button here. Let's create the remaining layouts. We need a layout of the rear elevation the front elevation the left elevation and finally the right elevation. Here we will deliberately not select all of the required entities. Let's leave out some of the roof lines. We have done this so we can show you some of the other layout commands later. Now all of the layouts are created. So let's click on each one to check they are correct. OK, now we can edit each layout and add the information specific to it. In each case we will add a suitable size sheet border. On the plans layout we can insert an A2 border symbol. like so. Now if we switch back to the drawing you can see there is no A2 border around the plans, it only exists in the layout. So let's continue and add an A3 sheet border to the other layouts. As we do it's worth noting the following. A drafted drawing can contain any number of layouts. An entity can be in any number of layouts. Entities on the main drawing cannot be modified when viewing a layout, only entities actually drawn in the layout. You can add any items to layouts including geometry, text and dimensions. Effectively all of this means that you can create multiple drawings from the same geometry. 
OK, now you can see here that each layout remembers its most recent zoom window. So let's go to each layout and select Zoom Extents to maximise the geometry in the drawing area. On the right elevation, we deliberately missed out some of the roof lines when we created the layout. We did this to demonstrate the next two layout features. This button, Show Layout Contents, highlights the entities contained in the view and switches back to the whole drawing so that you can change the selection as required. So we can zoom in here and correct our deliberate mistake by selecting the missing roof lines. Now we can click on Update Layout Contents and select the view we want to update. Finally, we have the Copy Layout function, which is pretty straightforward. It creates a copy of currently selected layouts, like so. We don't need that, so we will delete it.